Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at weather for 10 to 14 days. Well, today's second video, day 10, will take some the 17th of September. And we'll be out to it soon enough beyond that with the XNGFS and the Shell on Troubles. We're going to try in a couple of weeks. So have a look at the CFSB2 at the end of the video the next four weeks. Which will get us into the early part of October. I'll get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that the first video today was our 6 a.m. upload. So check out that one if you'd like to do that. Please like, share, subscribe on the video. So we thank you so very much for doing that. We're going to have a lovely Wednesday as well. Right, so we're going to start off in the uh, Atlantic. We've got two hurricanes now. Wow, wow, wow. And two disturbance areas. So... Let's deal with them one by one. We've got this yellow X just here. Uh, that is Disturbance 2 with a 30% uh, chance cycle elevation in the next five days. We've got the orange X just there, which is Disturbance 1, uh, and that has a 60% chance, a medium chance of cycle formation in the next two and five days. An area of low pressure located 700 miles west of the Cape of Verde Islands been producing large areas of disorganized showers and thunderstorms. Environmental conditions appear conducive for additional development of this system over the next couple of days, and a tropical depression could form over this period while it moves west, uh, westward to west northwestward at 15 20 miles per hour over the eastern and central tropical Atlantic. After that time, upper level winds are forecast from less conducive for development. So touching go whether that's going to do much. Danielle up here. Uh, so what uh, we've got uh, a hurricane Danielle did maximum sustained winds of 80 mile per hour. That's category one hurricane. Uh, so a hurricane Danielle is uh, currently there is going to be go, go, go going to be going uh, post tropical on Friday, meandering around. Uh, and then it looks like it's going to head off in that direction as we go through the weekend into the next week, heading towards Portugal as a post tropical storm. And that's going to have impacts for us, not directly perhaps, um, but it will have uh, an impact for us early next week. More about that in a moment. Uh, and then we've also got Hurricane Earl here, giving maximum sustained winds of 85 miles per hour. Currently clicking on Earl. And going there, we can see that this is still predicted to become a major hurricane. So starting off there, becoming a major hurricane around Bermuda. That is going to be a significant impact, I think, for Bermuda. A bit of a worry for them. Um, and then beyond that, still major hurricane going northeastwards uh, into the northern Atlantic before going post-tropical uh, as we get on into the weekend. If we go to discussion, we can see that uh, the winds with this are going to be up to 125 miles per hour maximum sustained there in uh, 60 and 72 hours that is a high end category one not all that far i don't think that from getting towards category four on the Sathir simpson scale so that is a very significant major hurricane high end category three i think that uh so a little bit of a concern that, you know might might go in more powerful than that Still a couple of days away i think the folks in bermuda will be watching that with uh with a little bit of alarm but uh yeah significant amounts in the tropical atlantic we of course will keep you updated on what's going to happen uh with this and um and uh yeah you know uh we're in peak hurricane season now this month and into october so we should wait and see how things play out over the next day or two or the next few weeks. The CT is in now for uh, August. So uh, we did indeed have an 18 Celsius CT August. Came out at 18.7. Which was 2.9 degrees above average. Very hot summer. Uh, this is very, very hot summer. Now uh, we had June at 14.9. Which is not excessively hot. And then we had July at 18.2. Which normally that would be like the hottest month of the summer. But then we had an even hotter August at uh, 18.7. The three degrees above 61.99 average. That is the hottest August since 1997. Um, so, uh, and the first time I had an 18 Celsius CT August for 2003. Very, 
very, very uh, significant developments in August. September started off on a very hot note as well. Uh, CT 18.4 provisional to the 5th of September. Uh, that is 4.8 degrees above average. Gosh, very, very warm start to uh, August, uh, to September. Very rare that you see September, uh, you know, with an 18 Celsius CT at any point in the month. And uh, it'll be interesting to see where that ends up. It, it look, I mean, it's, um, it's 18.4, 4.8 degrees above average. It's going to take a lot to bring that down into the 14. So already it looks like a 15 Celsius plus CT August is very likely, I would say. Um, and, uh, and, you know, that will cause some chatter, I'm sure, among the comments and, uh, and whatnot. Uh, we'll wait and see, but it's still early days in the month. We might get a big northerly or something that will, uh, reduce that. But at the moment, a very, 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 very hot start to September. These are GFS upper air temperature and precipitation on Sobbles for uh, the next couple of weeks. We're at Exeter today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Exeter. We're starting off around to a little bit below average of the upper air temperature, temperature today, though it is relatively warm still. Um, now, early next week, we're going to see quite a big warm up. There are actually some very hot ensemble members here for uh, Monday and Tuesday. That is what I talked about a moment ago in terms of the impact from Danielle. Danielle directly is heading to, uh, to the coast of Portugal. But what Danielle will do is bring a lot of warmth with it. So only next week, you're going to get a push up in temperature. So far from the temperature uh, but we saw there, uh, rather than that central temperature for September reducing, it'll probably increase further for the early part of next week anyway. Uh, and uh, we are going to have a couple of really warm days, I think, on Monday and Tuesday. Before the temperatures then begin to slide back closer to average as we go into the second half of September. It also looks unsettled. There's going to be further showers, long spells of rain, maybe thunderstorms to come as we go into the middle part of the month. And then beyond that, perhaps a little bit of a drying trend through the third week of September. We'll have to wait and see about that. But definitely, definitely the next week, 10 days, looking really quite unsettled. Temperature anomalies on the 7th to 15th of September are going to be above average. Precipitation anomalies from the 7th to 15th of September, wetter than average, especially so for England and Wales. I just remember that from Earth. Nolschool.net shows that we still have this area of low pressure just to the west, southwest of the UK and Ireland drawing up this warm southerly wind so warm and showery at the moment if we pull this over and drag it around uh we can see that danielle is just very nice to find eye of the storm for category one hurricane danielle and uh then we've got earl down here again nice to find eye for Earl to the south of Bermuda, Earl uh, will be pushing northwards and powering up. Going to power up over the uh, next um, over the next day or two. So Earl uh, is on its way as a major, on its way to becoming a major hurricane, and uh, is heading to Bermuda. Right, so these are how the Jerry Charts look. This is the UK Met Euro midnight on Saturday. The area of low pressure brings to our south southwest finally clears away to the east on Saturday, allowing something a little bit cooler and fresher pushing from the north. So we take into a mostly dry, I think, in many areas, and it will be a little bit cooler and fresher, most notably so at night. We've got low pressure out to the Atlantic, that's the remains of uh, Danielle just there, let's put in a D, uh, and this is Earl just appearing on the far uh, left hand side of the chart. So into the early part of next week, we find uh, that Danielle heads towards uh, Spain and Portugal. As it does so, we start to draw up this warm southerly wind. So through Monday and Tuesday, we will pump quite a bit of nor warmth northwards, but it will be unsettled. There's low pressure associated with that. So we might get more heavy rain and thunder through the early part of next week, given the warmth and humidity that will be getting drawn northwards, courtesy of the remains of Danielle. There's Earl just there by way remains of Earl, uh, just there with that area 
of low pressure. And that's how looking to get to the middle of next week. So then we're taking cooler and fresher again during wind back in from the northwest and we're building up a little bit of a ridge ahead of Earl. Will Earl come in at the end of the week and bring us more unsettled weather? We'll have to wait and see. I can't! Looks like that. Low pressure going away to the east on Saturday. Gives us a window of drier but somewhat cooler and fresher weather over the weekend. And then into the early part of next week, uh, the remains of Danielle down here off the coast of Portugal, uh, drawing quite a lot of warmth northwards. We also have low pressure to our north and northwest. It's just generally quite unsettled for the early part of next week. And although warm initially, eventually we pull down some cooler north, uh, northwesterly to northerly winds for the middle of next week as we build up this ridge ahead of Oh, right into uh, GFS output. This is GFS midnight run. Again, the top low pressure clearing east on Saturday, leaving us with a window of drier weather over the weekend. But early next week, we have this area of low pressure somewhere to the north of Spain, heading towards Biscay. Ahead of that, drawing up some uh, proper warmth from the south. Look at the upper air temperatures. We've got plus 15 Celsius ice firm there. Heading through France, plus 20 South Iceberg is into central parts of France. Properly hot with this. Low pressure, more or less where it is right now. Remains of Danielle uh, as we go through Monday just to our southwest. Again, drawing up warm, but it's going to be unstable uh, with this. Expect more heavy showers and thunderstorms, I would have thought, through the early part of uh, next week with that area of low pressure. Eventually, it gets pushed through as we go into the next week, a much cooler, fresher air coming in from the northwest. So, the push up in temperature, which is probably going to be enough to get to 30 degrees down in the south anyway, I would have thought on Monday and Tuesday. Um, I would be not, a, not, I would not be at all surprised if temperatures reach 30 degrees again. Um, and uh, that's restricted to Monday and Tuesday, and then by Wednesday, we are into uh, significantly cooler and fresher uh, temperatures. Heading up towards day 10, another air. Area of low pressure heads in off the Atlantic. Uh, that I think contains remains of Earl as well. So we turn properly wet and windy over the weekend of the 17th, 18th of September and cool as well. That is not a particularly warm area of low pressure. That's actually quite a cool area of uh, low pressure. If that gets out of the way and pulls in this much cooler north northeasterly, that would certainly start to reduce the temperature. And then high pressure topples in from off the Atlantic. That's quite a cool ridge, probably would uh, produce some quite cold nights and would gradually begin to uh, help bring the uh, central England temperature downwards. Uh, GFS 6Z, looking like that again, the trough of low pressure clearing away uh, on uh, Saturday, the current area of low pressure we've had for the last few days. This is Danielle just here, this is the remains of Earl just there, let's see what happens then. So uh, as we go into uh, next week again, Danielle heads towards Portugal, draws up this southerly wind ahead of it across the west of Europe, that will pump heat and uh, humidity northwards. It looks quite unsettled, especially so for England and Wales should be a part of next week. So very warm, yes, but expect the risk of heavy showers and thunderstorms. Um, New next week takes that area of low pressure away. We build a ridge. That's going to be a cooler ridge. That will start to lower the temperature. And then we head towards day 10. More low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. Again, I think that does contain the, the remnants of uh, as well. And uh, GFA 6 there just looks quite unsettled then as we go all the way up to the end of it. Um, notice the remains of another hurricane just here heading into the North Atlantic on the 20th of September. We're a long way out now. Uh, of course, that becomes a really significant area of low pressure storm, Atlantic storm, um, south of Greenland there uh, on the 21st of September. Well, the Atlantic definitely livening up now. Uh, we head on to the end of the GFS 6 run. We've got high pressure out to our northwest. We're pulling in winds from a cooler north or northeast. That high pressure will probably produce some quite cold, misty nights over the fall. If you enjoyed the video, please do you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. We're trying to get ourselves to 14.4k. We've got to put on around number 20. Two, I think, to get to 14.4k. So we're quite close now. Um, please give us a sub and help get us to 14.4k. The ultimate target is 15k. Wouldn't it be lovely if we could get to 15k for the end of the year? Wow, wow, wow. If we could do that, that would be amazing. Don't know if we will, though. But uh, thank you so much, everybody, for all of the support.
Right, GEM, looking like that. Low pressure cooling away to the east on Saturday. Uh, given a window of dry weather over the weekend. And then low pressure will die south. Was the remains of Daniel diving south towards Portugal on Monday, drawing up this very warm southerly wind ahead of it. Looking at the upper air temperatures, heat surging northwards again across western parts of Europe. That's midnight on Tuesday, low pressure around Biscay again, drawing up this very warm to actually hot southerly wind. Look at the GM, look at the upper air temperature, plus 15 cells iceberg there. Super country, yes, that is, but plus 20 cells iceberg just over the other side of the channel. I reckon we're going to get 30 degrees again. Uh, next week, you know, uh, I will be unsettled. It will be unstable. So uh, there will be heavy showers and thunderstorms associated with this. Uh, and then through the second half of next week, the weather begins to turn cooler as heights build to the north. But it turns drier, uh, but uh, temperatures begin to uh, lower. We have got another deep area of low pressure out in the Atlantic there, waiting in the wings. And then uh, finally for the charts, the ECM, again, we're taking that low pressure weight east on Saturday to leave a window of slightly drier weather over the weekend. But early next week, yes, we draw up this southerly wind with the re remains of Danielle off the coast of Portugal. That pumps heat and humidity uh, northwards across western parts of Europe. Upper air temperatures show that heat surging north. Look at those upper air temperatures for midnight on Tuesday. Really hot, actually. Especially for the middle of September, but really hot across most parts of Western Europe. Plus 15 Celsius ice I'm heading back to southern Scotland. Plus 20 Celsius ice firm. again, is uh, across northern France, just heading into the far southeast of England. That won't be as hot as it would have been in July, but even so, it's definitely, I would say, enough to get the temperature back up into the low 30 Celsius down in the south. It's going to be unstable with this, however. Low pressure will bring heavy showers and thunderstorms through the early part of next week. And then the low pressure pushes through to the second half next week, cooling the temperature down and uh, turning things a little bit drier as this ridge begins to build from off the Atlantic. So another surge of heat through the early part of next week, courtesy, thanks to the remains of Danielle, looks likely. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tomesho.com. So lots of heavy showers, thunderstorms, long spells, rain come over the uh, next few days. A little bit drier through the weekend. Some rain will push up western side on Sunday, but most other areas will be turning a little bit drier. And then into the early part of next week, see how the showers and storms get more widespread through the early part of the week. So although the temperature will lift up, it will become hot and humid for England and Wales in particular. There will be heavy showers, thunderstorms, and maybe long spells of fungi rain associated with it. And then it begins to turn uh, cooler, fresher as uh, as uh, cooler air heads in from off the Atlantic. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today, which gets the straw date 10, which gets to the 17th of September from the Icelandic Met Office. 12 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure over and just the west of the country. So heavy showers, long spells, rain and thunder likely with that. 11, again, with tough low pressure over top of the country. Uh, 10, with deep low pressure over the country. That looks really unsettled. 7, with low pressure just to our north. Again, that looks like it'll be quite unsettled. 6, with high pressure just to the west, so that could be a bit dry, but will be a bit on the cool side. Uh, and then five with high pressure more towards Iceland. So again, that will be drier, but probably quite cool uh, with that. Most of the options seem to be un unsettled there at day 10 with low pressure in control. In two weeks' time, these are the options we've got. This gets us to the 22nd of September. 15 members of the ECM ensemble keep the unsettled where we're going. Low pressure in the country combined with number 10 here that look unsettled uh, too. Nine might be starting to build up a little bit of a ridge uh, through the country just there. Uh, and then we've got seven down here with high pressure to our south. Low pressure is to the north, winds flat and westerly. With that one, seven have high pressure properly in control over the country. Winds coming in from the east. That will be main drive. It might be a little bit cool by nine. And then three with high pressure around Iceland. Low pressure is to the east southeast, and that will draw in a cool north or northeast wind. There might be a transition to higher pressure by um, two weeks out, but certainly around day 10, anyway, up to day 10, looks quite unsettled. Finally, CFSB TV is a 500 millibar high tolerance breakdown into week periods. The first week period will take from the 7th to 13th of September. 
coming week looks unsettled with low pressure over the country bringing heavy showers longer spells of rain and maybe thunder week two will be the 14th to 20th of september low pressure pushes east ridge builds out to west so that turns drier but eventually will turn cooler uh, with uh, winds coming in from a northwesterly direction. Week 3 uh, will be the uh, 21st, 27th of September. High pressure things trial just out to our west. I'm probably going to call this reach though. So, uh, main dry with that, but temperatures will perhaps be a bit cooler, especially so, at night. And then week four will be the 28th of September, the 4th of October, with high pressure ridging through the country and going up into Northern Europe. Low pressure around Greenland and Iceland. Jet stream is up there somewhere. So, um, main dry with that. And, uh, uh, yeah, main dry starts to October there. Temperatures could be a little bit on the cool side, I suppose, by night, but probably pleasantly warm by day. We're done. If you enjoyed the video, please don't use smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for doing that. Don't forget to tell your friends about to subscribe as well. And uh, it's amazing. It's incredible. We thank you so very much for all of the support. Right, just to say, I was coming up tomorrow then. So we're going to start off 6 a.m. upload. Got the European out detail look at weather. Put the next week, 10 days for uh, Europe tomorrow as well. And for that was enough, it's going to be 10 to 14 day or two. So keep checking back to the channel for more. But uh, for this video, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.